Hi everyone, it's Kylie here from GF Oats Australia. Thank you for joining me for my first Kylie's Kitchen uh, for a while, but first one for 2020. I thought that uh, seeing everybody was back in the kitchen and making stuff from scratch, that I would get back here into my kitchen, so welcome, and show you some of my favorite recipes. So I put a post up the other day and I was asking people, well, where do I start? What do you want to see? So by all means, if you have something you'd like to see, please put in the comments below and uh, Alicia and I will get to and do some research and make them up for you in the kitchen. Alrighty, so where I started was creamy oats. Sort of makes sense. It's cold here in Australia at the moment. So, and we actually have a cold snap going on. So there is no better way, in my humble opinion, to start the day than with a beautiful bowl of hot, steamy oats. So this is how I prepare it. But before I show you that, I just want to go through the different types of oats. So we have a whole oat, that is your steamed rolled oats. Now it's, it is a beautiful heritage grain. So automatically, when I show you the oats in the pot, you'll see that it's organically creamy just by adding some water to it. Now this is what I'm going to use today, the organic. We have the quick oats, but look, it's a little bit more broken down. I don't personally think you get the same creaminess out of the quick oats. Uh, it does cut cook a little bit faster than the steam rolled oats, but when you do it my way, it's still fast anyway. I just think you get the creaminess out of the larger oat. Okay, so that aside, I wanna show you what I do the night before. So what I've done is I prefer, because my gut is a little bit sensitive and for anyone else who has the same issues, is to put my cup of oats in one cup of water the night before with a pinch of salt into my pot. And I am a stovetop girl, so you are going to see me using stovetop recipes. I'm not really a microwave fan, but I, look, I know that some people take, you can take this in your jar to work and you can pop it in the microwave. And by all means, you can just stir it after one minute, cook it for another minute, but I'm not great with the microwave, I'm not a big fan, so this is it. In the pot, lid on, go to bed. That's it, stick it on the stove. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it is the morning and you are ready to cook your oats. So grab your oats off the stove and because you've got the lid on, they stay safe at night. You don't need them in the fridge. If it was summer, then you possibly would, but in winter, it's cold enough. I've got my beautiful spurtle here, and I just wanna show you how creamy those oats are. Just even sitting on the stove with the water. Now, what that's also done is broken down an enzyme that's in all grains called phylates and I think that's what I'm a little bit sensitive to and a lot of people are so I tend to soak them so that they break down I don't need to rinse the oats don't need to do anything else okay I'm going to pour in my one cup of milk I'm going to stir that up and I'm going to fire up the stove And I'm going to put it on medium to start with. This is only going to take a couple of minutes. So what I want to talk to you about is the milk side of it. So generally I use a plant-based milk. My favorite at the moment is the homemade oat milk. So I'll go through that with you first. And I have the recipe on the website and I'll put it in the links below so that you can go and have a look. It's only a couple of ingredients, super, super easy. And I use the organic oats, okay? So 
you can sort of see through the container it's lovely and creamy it will settle at the bottom so you have to give it a shake the morning before but absolutely beautiful uh, there's a couple of other oat milks that are my favorite the oatly one is quite popular at the moment uh, so good one oat milk but there really is nothing like making it yourself and having it fresh it'll last about a couple of oats uh, makes that four cups of liquid. It'll last for three or four days in the fridge, make another one. If you're an almond milk person, this is my favorite brand. I tend to, and I like the Nutty Bruce one as well. So I tend to go for the ones that are in the cold section of the supermarket because uh, they just are a better quality almond milk. So, but, um, oat milk is very popular at the moment and a, a lot more sustainable. So have a try at that. Now, after a minute, I'm going to just keep stirring those oats up. Now, what you're going to find is, is because you've soaked those oats, it really is just a matter of firing it up and it cooks very quickly within a couple of minutes. You don't need to, there's recipes for sitting for five minutes and 10 minutes. It's not really necessary when you've soaked them. Now, I also want to point out that half a cup is all you need for one person. So, of course, that's going to be a lot, lot faster even than what I'm showing you today. So, let's have, a, have another look at what we've got here after a couple of minutes. It's still quite liquidy. We might let that oats stay on the stove and boil for a little bit longer. And then I'll show you some of the toppings that we're going to put on the oats. So what you will find is as the, uh, the milk starts to evaporate and the oats starts to thicken, the oats starts to uh, take up the moisture a bit more with the heat, you get a lovely thick oat. So I'm going to show you that in a minute or so. Right, let's go through some of the toppings that I use on my breakfast from day to day. Now let's go through the sweeteners. So I found this one from Queen because I'm avoiding sugar, which is uh, maple syrup. Now that's quite nice. Uh, a pure rice syrup is really lovely. Just your coconut sugar is really good. Or you might want to use a stevia blend. So there's quite a few options or you can just use your fruit. So you can use your mashed banana, or I'm not a big fruit person in your oats, but I love this Kool-Aid. So I just buy the frozen berries and I blend them up and make a bit of a Kool-Aid and put that on. So I'll show you what that looks like on the oats. You can put some chocolate, and this is a local chocolate manufacturer here in Toowoomba. So that's a beautiful 100% chocolate. Cinnamon, flaxseed, chia seeds are great, and of course, your nuts and seeds. So let's go back and put this together. Okay, our oats is cooked. Now look at that lovely texture. It's nice and thick, and it's beautiful and creamy. Okay, and the spurtle does work really well uh, stirring that up. Have a look at... Uh, what the spurtle's all about on our website. They're pretty cool and they're locally made here. Uh, we have them on the website for sale. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scoop that out into two bowls and give you two variations. But before I do that, if you are a coconut lover, I just want to give you one more hack. I take a tin of coconut milk or coconut cream and I put them into ice cubes. So if you love the coconutty taste, pop that into your oats just before you serve it and then let that defrost and melt into your oats. Oh my God, that's delicious. Right, but I know not everybody's a coconut fan. So we've got our oats here, beautiful. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going, we've got two different toppings. 
So let's start with putting some chia seeds. So this is one of my favorites. Some chia seeds, about a teaspoon. I go with some flax seed. Once again, about a teaspoon. And some nuts on the top as well. He doesn't love nuts. Now, this is my favorite topping. And this is the Kool-Aid I was telling you about before. Now, if you've got that already in the fridge, just pour that over. You can't really have too much, I don't think, of that one. And then top it with a little bit of this beautiful chocolate. Don't you feel as though you're just loving yourself there? Look at that. That's all you need to do. Grab yourself some of that in the morning. Now, the next one that I'm going to do, I'm going to actually use some of my toppings here. So my sweetener I'm going to use is a little bit of coconut sugar. I'm going to use a little bit of cinnamon in this one. Cinnamon's a favorite of mine. There we go, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Look, I love the nuts on there. It's a favorite of mine. I could mash some banana on that, but I also absolutely love the flavor of maple syrup. So I'm going to just put a little bit of maple syrup on that. You can also, oh, to make it a little bit more creamy, I love the milk on it. So put your milk around the sides of them. I'll show you what these look like. And you can add some yogurt too if you want. Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's simple. It's fast in the morning. If you have your containers ready to go. And that's it, people. That's your creamy oats. So thank you very much for joining me. Please like and share this with other people if you love it. And once again, don't forget to put some comments in, uh, down below if you have a recipe that you would like us to trial. Otherwise, thank you for joining us. Bye.